All right, track number five off the debut album. This is Rainbow Life. So Rainbow Life, this song was inspired by a short film called Alike. If you haven't seen it before, I highly, highly recommend you check it out. It's on YouTube right now. It's eight minutes long. Um, and also I have a little cut on my face, just a little like thing and I keep touching it. So I'm wearing a rainbow, rainbow bandaid in honor of the song in today's video. Follow the rules. So the first time I recorded it, it was pretty slow like that. Stay in between the lines. And I recorded a version like that. It felt too slow. And I, I couldn't play fast enough. I kept playing the song faster and faster. Stay in between the lines. And then I realized that I could do this. And that unlocked it. Follow the rules. This was probably the hardest song for me to record. On my album, I recorded all the vocals on this microphone right here, the Rode K2. It's a pretty nice microphone. It's the best mic I have, other than uh, this classic SM58, very standard. It's not really about the equipment, is one thing I'm learning more and more. Um, equipment does help, but I, I only have the sheer basics, and I proved myself completely wrong with not only recording this song, but my entire album, that you really can, with good performances and minimal gear, create sounds that you like, and I love how this album turned out. But all that to say, I recorded Rainbow Life in this mic. So let's talk about the lyrics. Um, the dad goes off to work, the son goes off to school, and over time, they start losing their zest for life and their creativity um, just in the environments that they're in, both in school and at that particular job that the dad was going to. They weren't fully expressing themselves, and they felt a bit gray and a bit down. Um, and I think that can happen to so, so, so many of us in this crazy time we live in. Um, but I love that this film is very optimistic and hopeful of just the simplicity of getting outside, getting to the park, getting into nature, and just not letting your colors die and, and keep on shining your light and letting your light be seen. And that's really the, the heart of this song is allowing ourselves to shine, allow yourself to shine. And it's something I'm working on. Allow yourself to shine. Allow yourself to shine. I know Jim Carrey has talked about this in a quote of like the greatest risk of all is to risk being seen. What if you put yourself out there or what if you go for it and you fail? That's like, you're, it's like the ultimate form of rejection, especially for the creatives out there that are putting their heart and soul into something. Um, if you really put your true self forward and it's still not enough, it's like, oh man, that would be so terrible. But I don't know, I, I'm not, I still am, am definitely overcoming self-doubt on a daily basis, but things are getting better because I feel like I, I've realized or come to some sort of new understanding that, you know, it's okay, it's really okay. Like all I can do is be myself, so I'm just gonna try to get to know myself more and more and just be the best version of me that I can. Um, but anyways, back to the song, it's kind of random. Uh, we have Drew Lewis on drums on this song. I absolutely love where Drew decided to, to enter with drums. I was not expecting at all. I remember when he sent it over to me, I thought he was gonna have the drums come in on the chorus, which to me was, Oh, living that rainbow life. But instead, there's no drums. Oh, and then he builds it up. Rainbow life. He like waits for the punchline of the song. I just think that was so beautiful. Oh, but that I believe we can thrive, live in a rainbow life. Valley, we will shine by design. And I love Tommy on bass in the song. He has some really cool runs all throughout. We have Connor on electric guitar and the outro filling out just this triumphant ending. So the bridge. I follow the rules, now I get to choose from infinite love and color. I know who I am, way more than a brand. I am who I am, my brother. Your presence is shining in divine time and let the love guide you to the light. I wanted to have just like a fun, just lighthearted, sing-songy rap, affirmational moment. Um, really the song is from the perspective of the little kid, the energy of innocence and uh, seeing the colors and the creativity and the magic of the little things. I feel as though I have followed the rules and I've been 
uh, patient and respectful to all the things that I've learned in my life from my family and at the culture and my education growing up. And now I, I'm, you know, looking outside some of those containers to think like, you know, what do I believe really on my own and test out different things and find out some different answers for myself instead of just accepting everything maybe I'm told. That's where this is kind of coming from saying, thank you so much. Now I'm going to, you know, give it a shot on my own and see what I find out. When I was in a band, one thing that, that was kind of the, the bottleneck for me is I realized that I had my identity too closely attached to the band. And so for whatever job career that you're in, there's you, your own person, your own individual, and then there's also your job. And sometimes when the job's going really well, it lifts you up. And sometimes when the job's not going so well, you feel down. And that can create a roller coaster ride of how you feel about yourself. And I feel like regardless of how your job is going and how your career is going and how your anything's going out there in the world, you can still have your own relationship with yourself that doesn't have to be so affected by all of the ever-changing things going on. And that was a big realization for me that I realized that regardless of what brand or what band or what company or career I'm in, uh, I am my own person. I'm way more than a brand. That's kind of the journey that I've been on for the last couple years, just getting to know myself and, and keeping in mind that I am way more than, than whatever likes or posts or songs or anything that I do externally. And if it, something does well, great. If something doesn't do well, I can learn from it, but it doesn't need to totally throw me for a roller coaster ride. One of my intentions that I go back to is, my intention is to share empowering music with a message. Ideally, a conscious message, because I think there's a really, a really big need for more and more music in our world to to have an empowering, uh, like an empowering, uplifting undertone to it. I'm trying to find like a, a line to walk where, uh, even though this life can be so challenging, like there is a silver lining to it, and uh, I I can only hope that some of the music I put out is a, can be like a tool or just like something to reframe your mindset to remember that you know you are the creator of your own life and you can craft it however you want and you can get through the challenging times because everyone goes through those challenging times and thank God we have music, thank the universe, whatever you want to call it, that we have music something that can transform how we feel in just a moment. We can put on our favorite song. I wish I could hear what someone was saying back so then we could like have a conversation. And so when the song Rainbow Life came out as a single, I emailed it to the directors who made the film. And I was thanking them, just saying, hey, thank you so much for the information, uh, the, <laughs> the inspiration. Thank you for the inspiration of this film. I watched it a while ago. It really inspired me uh, and, and really touched me. And I wrote a song inspired by the film and I love it and here it is you know check it out and they got back to me and said hey we like this we want to do something with it this is really cool and I was like and so they made uh they made a remix music video to based off the short film they they kind of like made a new video and uh it's it's beautiful I'm really grateful for it last thing I'll say is for every song on my album I created a playlist of all the songs that I was inspired by that like gave me direction of how I wanted the song to sound and uh, or just how I wanted it to feel and so some of the songs I listed were The Way You Make Me Feel by Michael Jackson with kind of that that groove it's it's not quite like that but it, it just was like an inspiring thing uh, there's a song Hajenga by Jacob Collier super good Don't Stop Till You Get Enough Michael Jackson Fool in the Rain Led Zeppelin Love You For A Long Time Maggie Rogers Miracles by Coldplay, that one's a hidden gem, and I Choose You by Sarah Bareilles. Now, the song Rainbow Life does not sound like any of those songs. You wouldn't think they're related, but I just kind of use those as a reference, and that's one thing that's been helpful. Uh, when I was making my album, I got advice from my friend Christian to have references and having something to model. So many of us as creatives want to reinvent the wheel. I know I do, and I feel like I want things I do to be original and unique and I came up with it myself. But uh, as I'm sure you know, songs, there's only so many chords, there's only so many notes. Um, yes, you can use them in every which way, but we can learn from the greats out there and, and model them and see what worked and take notes and learn. And uh, those were some of the, my references for this song.
All right, I think that's all I got for Rainbow Life. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, I think our greatest fear is we're scared of our own light sometimes. We're scared to let ourselves shine because what, what could that mean? What if uh, people don't like who I really am? And I'm saying screw that because we need to keep on letting ourselves shine. It's hard. I know it's hard. It's hard. But, you know, might as well. Why not? While we're here, right? Why, why not? While we're alive. All right. I'm leaving. Thank you. Allow myself to be happy. Big one. Allow myself to be happy. I have for sure learned through culture and society to work, 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 and almost through pain, earn my happiness. And, you know, I don't think it's wrong to work hard. I think if you love what you're doing, especially working hard is, is amazing. And it's, you want to work hard, you want to perfect your craft and, and be good at it. But at the same time, in, in my experience, wiring yourself with more pain is not the sustainable way to long-term fulfillment and pleasure. You gotta love yourself, obviously. We've heard it a million times, Sean, but you do. 